Here is my digital voice recorder, my baby, my first digital voice recorder, and a very necessary tool for recording EVP, at least in my opinion. My other tool I cannot do without is my Adobe Audition, one of the best audio programs around, and this is where it gets interesting. When I record on my digital voice recorder and edit with Adobe Audition, I can actually see the difference between living human vocal and what we call EVP. I am sharing this with the masses. Here are some examples. This recording was taken at the Clyde, Ohio home. Our latest investigation. This is just your average EVP. It was created by the spirits by using available sound. Available sound is important and so is the type. For instance, if you were to use what is called white noise, like a fan, your EVP may be difficult to edit and to hear because of the buzzing noise. And if you use noise reduction, you may wind up with something sounding like a space alien. LOL. Available sound that is too loud may be too loud for us to hear the EVP. There has to be a happy medium. Sounds in the distance seem to work well. Here we will see the difference between our voices and the spirit's voices. Our voices have the signs of vocal cords. Those little curved lines you will see here while Adobe is in the spectral view. You will not see these lines in an EVP. This helps us identify EVP from living speech. What do you have to feel about us coming down? Okay. What do you have to feel about us coming down? This is the section of the recording that was the EVP, except for those small little lines you see in the center where I said OK. And later you'll see what happens when I remove those. I wanted to share this with you all, and I hope that's OK with you too. Thank you.